G'day folks and welcome to Source on the Sidelines for the prelim finals. We're here at Ballymore where the Gallopers have just got up over east to book their place in the 2018 Grand Final. We're here with utility forward Mitch King. Mitch, obviously a pretty comprehensive win, must be pleasing for the boys. But it is. It's, uh, we set a few goals early in the week um, and to come out here and put a, a performance on like that, uh, it's pretty pleasing. Uh, it's, not, it's not good enough. I mean, it's not... Uh, by any means uh, going to set us up for the week ahead um, but leading into the grand final week uh, having a few boxes ticked is, is important for us. Now Mitch you had a bit of pressure on you this weekend six teams through to the semis last weekend but only one win in sixth grade because you guys get the chance to add one more Gallopers side to the grand final weekend. Yeah it was I mean I mean last year we had the week off and to be honest it was it was a funny feeling uh, whether we, we switched off or not it goes unspoken um, but this week here, it was just business as usual. Uh, the week was really positive, uh, plenty of energy, plenty of excitement. Um, and again, I think the results reflect that. Now, mate, obviously you heaped on a lot of points today, mate. Was attack something that you guys really wanted to focus on in terms of getting over that try line and putting more points on? It was just getting over the, at the ad line. Um, we're a pretty physical team um, and we get pay when we go direct and through the middle. Uh, so we didn't want to go away from that. And a lot of times this year, we're, we, we have uh, but this year, uh, this game. Sorry, uh, for 80 minutes we, we were direct and we we're through the middle, and we did get pay off of it. Yeah, mate, obviously it's going to be a grand final rematch from last year. Are the memories from the 2017 grand final spurring you guys on a little bit? I'd be lying if I said no, but um, for us this week it's going to be all about us. Uh, we're not going to worry about uni. Uh, we know what uni can do. We know what they're capable of but we also know what we're capable of. So this week will be all about us, all about what we can do, how we can prepare uh, and do the best we can leading into Sunday. We're crossing for a hat-trick in today's game, mate. Uh, not too often a forward gets to nab that many tries, especially from lock. Yeah, I know. It's, it's pretty good when you're, you're a part of a pack that's you know as, as dominant as we can be sometimes. I mean, we've got some big bodies up front, JP Rowan, and then Freddie Burke comes on, Dan Gorman. I mean, it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a luxury, really. Now, mate, obviously, it gets spoken about every time you make the GF. Gallopers haven't won one since 96. Uh, does that put a little bit more pressure on you guys heading into next weekend? Uh, no, it doesn't. I mean, as I said, we're in a really good frame this year. Uh, we've, I mean, today it showed we're finally hitting the detail. And I think having this game uh, the week before the the grand final is the best thing for Jeeps. Uh, I think having the week off, we sort of we reflect too much on that. Uh, we have an opportunity to. So now it's just all been about our detail about how we're going to play and how we're going to approach the game. All that in the past is in the past. All right, well, thanks for that one, Mitch. Thanks, yes. All right, folks, that's it from out here at Ballymore for prelim final weekend. Make sure you're here next Sunday for what's going to be an absolute belter of a grand final between the Gallopers and University.